Hello and welcome to another Respond Billing webinar training video. My name is Rich Winter, EDI Analyst for Tritech Software System, representing the Respond Billing product. This is our first in a series of training videos for the Reflexible Report Generator. The Reflexible Report Generator is a module that allows you to customize your reports from your Respond Billing database. Although Respond Billing has multiple pre-existing reports already built into the software, there are times when these reports do not quite return all the data you would like. This is why the Flex Report Generator is such a handy module to have. We'll start with Report Editor. This part of the Report, uh, report edit Generator is found in the toolbar menu in the top of the billing. And click on Report Editor. Um, to build a report, there are two ways of doing it using uh, the wizard or manually adding, adding the objects. Um, the editor starts with a, a header main detail and a footer and at, to the right are objects in which we will pull the data from the software system. All these objects do have a direct line to data that you're going to need. So we'll start by clicking on the um, main detail button. Uh, these bands are adjustable by sizing by taking your, key, your left uh, mouse key and you can move it up and down and so we're going to start by taking uh, the first object uh, call date and we're going to right click and we're going to add a box and we're going to come over to the objects on to the right side and we're going to take call date we're going to drop it right left click and drop that object right into this big white box and we're going to see uh, the pen to this box, the format of the call date of month, month, day, day, century, century, year, year. Now these objects are can be changed to different formats. So what you'll do is you can uh, left click, right click, and edit, and hit the parameters box. And on the format, hit the down arrow, and you'll have multiple uh, options of how you want the date range. To the date to be uh, sent. So we're going to leave it at this format, the default right now. So we click OK and OK. And now we're going to move this box over to the right of our uh, report. That'll be the first thing we'll see on our report. Next we're going to pull in the call number. Now another way to pull over data or objects into the detail band is by actually going on the object itself, finding number, which means call number, and left click and just drag it up to the area where you want to have it print. And we will just move it up to there. The call number is just, there's nothing to change as the format, it's just the call number that your system will show. Next we're going to add um, total charges because we want to show the total charges, the total credits, and the balance uh, on each individual call. So we'll go into the objects again, we'll find charge total. That's a little bit higher, here we go. We'll drag that in and drop it next to the call number. Now we'll size this box a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. And here we're going to go into this box and we're going to give it a name. Uh, so we will have to identify it later. So we'll have to give it some kind of a, a title so we can use it later in uh, how we're going to subtotal the game. The game. So we're going to put, just call it detail because this is a detail band. And we're going to right justify the number so the numbers make sense otherwise it's on the left of the box and they don't line up properly so we're going to make the number stick to the right of the box so we'll click OK and then we'll go get the credit total same way we'll drag it over to the box and we'll move it into place by dragging it with the mouse key widen it and we will again give this name a call it detail and we will write justify this also just like we do with charges click OK 
Now we're going to look for the balance object. And again, drag it, drop. And we'll widen that up. Give it a name again, detail, right justify. These objects are all um, default to what the actual totals are each. So we don't need to change anything within these objects. Okay, now we got the base of the report of what we're needing. We're going to size it down a little bit so there weren't any spaces in between uh, each individual call. Now we're going to add a header which will identify each individual column. We'll give it a, a name. So when the report comes up, we can say this is what call date is, call number, charges, etc. So here, when we get the band highlighted, we will right click, add a box. And here we're going to just put in the word header, since this is the header band. And we're going to go inside the box, the data box, and add. And we're going to call this call date. And click OK. And we'll click OK again. And now we'll move it, size it down to be the exact size of what the call date is in the uh, main detail band. Then we'll again right click, add a box, type in header. And down here we'll again add and we'll put in call number. And we'll move it over and line it up. And now we'll add the next description. Right click, add, and we'll just say total charges. Okay. Okay. Move in size. And we'll add another box. Add and credit. Oh, we'll do total credit. So it'll be move in size. And the last box we're going to add here for the description will be just a balance. Click OK. Move in size. Now you notice that the verbiage of, of the balance, total credits, and total charges are left justified. So we want it to line up with the actual balance. So I'm going to click here and align right. And you'll see how the balance word moves over to the right, directly above the actual balance amount. Do the same thing with total credits. And total charges. And we'll move that up so we bring the columns directly underneath the, the verbiage directly underneath the over top of the objects. I'm going to slide that over a little bit. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the footer to give us the amounts of a total for, for the report of all the calls the, the uh, charges total credits and balance so we were running the whole report gives us the amount so we're going to add a footer I'm going to stretch this out a little bit 
and over on the right side where the objects are under miscellaneous is an object called total and this will this object uses to total what's in the detail band so we'll drag it over here and we're going to drive, uh, drive it underneath the call number what this we're going to do here is we're going to count the number of calls that we found so in this object we'll, we'll double click we'll edit by double clicking this object go into parameters and um, we remember that we renamed our um, boxes earlier so we could find them and this is the reason why because we want to be able to find the number of calls in the report and we're going to use that and we're going to use the function to count so we can count how many calls are found so we'll click OK OK and now we're going to total the charges so again we'll drag the object over here the total object place and size um, we'll write justify right away I'll call this we should be calling these the footer so we identify them right click and this time we're going to take the detail charge total and we're going to sum it up with the uh, um, format of um, pounds and zeros. Now, if you wanted to go with uh, the dollar sign to show monetary amounts, we have the option of being able to choose the, the dollar sign to be, proceed the actual number. But in this case, we're going to use the default of this. Okay, now we're going to total the total credits move size right justify name it and this time we're going to double click on the object the parameters change the box to total credits click OK and the last box will be the balance Drop that there, size it, right justify, footer, and um, choose the detail balance. So now we run a report, we'll get the totals underneath to tell us how many how much how many calls there were total charges for the report total charges or credits and the balance due for all the report all right um, now we need to save this so we will go up to file save as and we'll call this report call report and save so now we're going to print this report to see how it turned out and make some changes if we need to so we go up to the report pull down again and then we come down to the flexible report generator this will be give us this it's just like your print reports we use for the our canned reports is very similar to that um, so we're going to give this a parameter name so we'll just call it call report just like the actual report we just created we'll click on the report find button and we'll search the report that we just created and right there it is click on it click OK and it's loaded uh, we'll need to uh, the HIPAA accounting uh, we will set that to TPO um, as far as what the legs here um, if you want the report not to show legs you want them all on one record you click this radio button but if you want to show them separately you will s click this one um, now we'll go to the call detail filters we're going to put in a date range 
of just this uh, of January. So I'm going to bring the call date over into this box here and as I drop it it gives you the format of the date and we have operators of what that date will be so we have numerous different possibilities you can go equal to greater than um, but we're going to go between so we're going to do between January 1st 2017 to January 1st, 31st, 2017. And we'll accept that. And we'll click OK. And since we've got the parameters named, we're going to save these parameters for future use. So we go up to File and Save Parameters. Now we're going to print this. So we obviously print, click Print. And here is the report. We have five calls, total credits of 4,406. Uh, the credits, somehow something went wrong here, so we should go back and figure out what happened because we got a zero on here, and that should really reflect $731.40. So let's close out. We'll leave this open. Go to our box here. First of all, I noticed it was left justified, so we need to keep that right justified. And I see the mistake here is that I chose header total credits, which was incorrect. It should have been the detail credit total because the header does not have any monetary amounts in it. We had to grab the right box. So that should take care of that. We make sure that we save it. Now, if you want a quick save without hitting the file, you can hit this uh, diskette and click Save, and it gives you that. So we'll print it again and see what it turns out. Okay, there's our amount, and there it lines up properly. Now, I'm, I'm pretty stickler about how things look. I like to make things stick out and, and really give me an idea of what they really mean. So there's a way of uh, making the header, the columns, like the call date, call number, to give it a, a bold look and have an underline so it looks like everything underneath there belongs there. So I, what you can do is you can do one or two ways of doing this. Uh, you can double click on the call date and then you have the option of font. Now the font is going to be very similar to what your printers do. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bold it and I want to underline it. And uh, you also have the option of changing the font size, but we're going to leave it at 10, and it's an Arial font. So we'll click OK, click OK, and as we move over to the other uh, box, you'll notice how the header call date changed color and have a uh, it got dark, uh, bolded and it's got an underline. So the other way of doing this is to highlight the the box that you want to change and up on the top side here is a font just like you saw on the object itself you can do it directly from here rather than going into the object so you can bold underline click OK do the same thing well I'll do it this way this one underline bold OK and I will do it to this way on this one Bold, underline, OK. Now, well, do it this way. Save. OK. Now we'll take a look and how this seems to look. This doesn't quite line up the way I prefer it to be. Now it's a good time to check out things, make sure everything is the way you want it to look. Um, another thing I noticed that I would probably want to maybe identify what these numbers mean down here. I can add a, a literals box here to um, just like I did for the header, how I name things up there. Um, I will name this as a footer. I'll right click here, add, and then I'll put the word totals with a 
colon after it. Click OK. And then I will size the box down and move it next to my totals that I have set up here. All right, now I'm going to save that. And I am going to print it. And now you'll see how this is all um, got me a column with a narrative above it. And I noticed that this totals charges this box isn't quite big enough since we changed the font. So font size does change a little bit on the in here. So we're going to just widen this up slightly. Grab it, slide it over, and save it. Print again. And there, we got the full name in there now. So um, that's the, a basic, simple report. Um, there's other things that can be done with this type of report, um, like itemizing the charges and credits. And that's something we will show on our next video. And so uh, this concludes my presentation of the introduction to the flexible generator. Um, there are more training videos available that are more in-depth in, in the use of the report generator. So please continue in the order of these uh, reports. Thank you.